God sent his son into the world as a Jew during Roman rule, into an environment for Jews dominated by injustice and oppression, an environment where their spiritual beliefs were often mocked. Yet when you read the scriptures, Jesus spent virtually no time rebuking the Romans. Instead, he focuses attention on the holier-than-thou people of the day. He said, in essence, you religious folks honor me with your words, but your hearts are far from me. And you know, today, that's what we Christians look like to many of the folks we're hoping to change. We say one thing, but we behave just like everyone else. Instead of living out our faith, we have conformed to the culture of the day. And as we grieve our country's drift away from God, we like to blame secular America for leading us in the wrong direction. But the truth is, we Christians are as responsible as anyone. If you want to see this country move back to God, ranting and raving about the sin of others will only push people away rather than draw them near. If you want to see this country move in the right direction, we Christians must be willing to change our ways. We need to set the right example by living out the faith. What's that mean? It means living out 1 Corinthians 13, 4 through 7. I'll paraphrase. Love is patient. Love is kind. It is not proud. Love honors others. It is not self-seeking or easily angered. Love keeps no record of wrongs. It always protects, always hopes, always perseveres. The most effective way to change hearts and minds is by setting the right example by loving others. So stop focusing on the speck of sawdust in your brother's eye and pay more attention to the plank in your own. If we Christians would lay down our lives for others by living out the faith, we'd see God heal our nation quicker than we ever dreamed possible. You want America to change? Then lead the change. Now.